Howdy, howdy, hello guys. Today, uh, we're gonna be installing the Wings exa exhaust on my 2021 701 Supermoto. Looks like, hopefully, it'll be pretty straightforward. I'm gonna, sorry, hand. I'm gonna install it. Uh, I'm gonna give you a little sound test at idle, and then I'm going to go ride the bike and give you a sound test there as well. Um, so you're gonna get a sound test, baffle in, smaller baffle in, and then baffle out while riding it and you're gonna get a sound test of idle um, with those three things as well, as well as a brief installation. Let's get to it. So here's the muffler right here. I got the titanium one with the uh, carbon end cap. Um, came with a few things. The instructions aren't, from what I can tell, I don't think they're really instructions. <laughs> they basically just say like, if you're able to get the old exhaust off, you should be able to get the new exhaust in. It's not that hard. Um, and then they have some stuff about cleaning and repacking it and, you know, how to like lubricate the hanger and pull out the the uh, baffles and all, all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna work on getting the exhaust out. I don't know how to do it, but it's probably not that hard. So let's get to it. All right, so some of these steps might be unnecessary, but I'm kind of just doing this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is find this little loop here. I'm gonna pull it, and that allows me to take the seat up. Okay, and another thing real quick, the seat goes in two little retainers here. You just pull the, the front corners up. Kind of feels like it's gonna break, but it won't. Um, and then the seat comes right off. So it looks like I did have to take the seat off to get this body panel off. So I'm gonna take a, one of my Torx wrenches here and unscrew that as well as um, there's one little one right there and I think that'll allow this left side rear body panel to come off okay so the body panel kind of has a thing similar to the gas tank it's got a really weird looking retainer right there uh, but it just pulls straight out kind of feels like it's going to break and then you are able to basically take the body, get it out from under the tail there, and then you slide the whole thing back. And that should allow it to come, come out. So as you can see now, the exhaust is a lot more exposed. Um, obviously that's gonna come out and probably this guard, um, as well as this little one under here. And then I, I think that, oh, and then probably this camera angles are getting kind of wonky here. I'll, I'll show it once I got the guard off, but there's a clamp under there that's going to need to come out. Um, so I'll go ahead and do that. So far, all of these have been T30 bits. That one looks like it might actually be a little bit smaller. But um, anyway, just get yourself one of these. You can get them off Amazon. Has, you know, this is um, T50 to down to T10. All right, so now that the guard is off, um, this is that clamp I was talking to, you, talking to you about. I think this is really the only thing that's holding the exhaust on at this point. That high mount there, I've taken that out. It was this pretty big thing there. It's got some Loctite on it. Um, oh, and then, okay, it looks like we've got this little one under there. So I'm gonna use my T30 bit probably, get that out and go ahead and get this clamp loosened and then this muffler should hopefully slide right off. Okay, everything is loosened. This thing's feeling real, yeah, real loose. So let's see if we can slide it right off. Uh, maybe it's gonna take a little bit of elbow grease. All right, she's out. Well, this is what looks like a kind of a spacer type of thing. So that's interesting. Maybe it's an anti-vibration, I don't know. So, sorry for the weird camera angle. I'm gonna do a little, just a weight comparison by putting them in my hands and seeing what the difference is. 
I've noticed the wings is not insanely light, like the tight, little tiny titanium muffler I put on my R1. Um, and I think maybe if you're going for that, the aero exhaust is probably what you want to get. For this, um, I kind of want this bike to be a little bit more of a commuter. I'm going to try and ride it actually from Missouri to Florida, that kind of thing. So I want it to be reasonably quiet, not so quiet like it is now where I can't even hear where my RPMs are at. Uh, so I think the wings is a little bit more of a, let's say, street muffler. And you can remove baffles and stuff. I don't know how loud it can get. Uh, but I don't, I'll, I'll see. Let's see how big of a difference it feels like with the weight. So I'm just feeling this. This is pretty big and heavy. Uh, my gut estimate is it weighs about maybe 16, 17 pounds. Okay, and I know I got the bag on there, but this is significantly lighter actually. So I wasn't expecting that. Um, this probably my gut estimate would be, I'm gonna say 12 pounds. Um, so, you know, maybe I could pin that other one around 18. I would say this is about 40% lighter than, than what was on there. So that's pretty good. Also just doing a little bit of a size and look comparison, uh, pretty striking difference. That stalker is just huge and fat and wide <laughs> and just big, bigger in every way. So uh, wings looks pretty slick. I think they make some other variations. Like I said, this is the titanium with the carbon in, in cap. So anyway, just wanted to show you guys that. Okay, so um, I'm just kind of trying to figure this out in my head. They gave you this mid pipe or this joining section so to me it looks like and that might be a good spot for some anti seize I think I will put a little there as much as I hate anti seize but it looks like you just you get rid of this um, reducer or you know whatever it is and you just stick this joining part to the uh, you know main pipe itself whatever you want to call it and that goes on there. I won't put it on all the way because I got to do the anti seize. That even says up, which I'm assuming means up, like farther back. And then I think you just put the wings onto that, uh, on the back of that, obviously. And then you will secure it with the hanger right there. So I want to get that all kind of joined up and we'll go from there. All right. So they're anti seized up. As you can see, they're mounted up. A uh, little tip, anytime you're working with anti-seize on something you don't want to ruin, just wear gloves, change the gloves if it gets any anti-seize at all on it because you will fingerprint the heck out of it and you'll never be able to get it off, especially on stuff like exhaust. So um, next step is I'm going to use their lube, which it looks like most of it actually spilled out in the bag, um, but at least they put it in a bag, so that was smart. And you have to lube up this hanger, which is strange, I've never seen that, but okay. And um, I'm going to loop that up and then attach it to the bike. And uh, another little trick of the trade for someone who's done an exhaust is put it on all loose and then tighten it up. Don't put on the mid pipe, for example, tighten that up, then put on the muffler and tighten that up. And then the, it's so much, it's going to be such a better fitment if you put it on all loose, get it positioned exactly how you want, and then tighten the whole thing up. All right, so the hanger's on. Uh, little call out on this here sorry little call out on this here is it comes with its own mounting hardware its own screw and also a nice little um you know in whatever you call that thing to make it flush that goes around the screw so just make sure you use that i originally was trying to use the stock hardware and it wasn't working and i was confused so go ahead and use the one it comes with of course um and then i think this is ready to just start tightening it up I tend to try and tighten them up evenly, so that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so now we've reached the part, the exhaust is on, it's attached, you're excited, you wanna start it right up, don't do that. <laughs> One more critical, critical step. Take some WD-40 or you know glass cleaner maybe or something like that, spray down your new titanium parts and you're probably your stainless steel as well. Get it cleaned up because if you don't, especially on titanium, it will discolor wherever your fingerprints were. And I've seen it happen and it looks very, very bad. So spray it down, get it clean, and then you can fire up your bike. 
All right, so yeah, that's been sprayed down with WD. You see how uniform and nice that looks? So that way, you know, titanium does change color when it gets hot. So hopefully it'll be a, just a uniform, whoops, uniform kind of nice little rainbow color. Here's my R1 to give you an example. See the pipe, how cool that is? Look at that, beautiful. So, um, you know, the muffler, it hasn't changed too much on this bike and it's kind of farther away from the heat. Maybe it'll be the same deal with this one, I don't know. But just in case, get that nice and clean. All right, now it's fired up. Huge improvement, huge. 